So it was uh, requested that we look at some Bollywood actresses who have gotten skin lightening. Um, try to figure out if they did or if they didn't. Um, I am going to try to make this a little short. I'm trying to go to the beach. Today's a very sunny day. Like it is like full on sun out. I think because um, I like to check like on my weather app just to see um, what the UV index is. It's at a full 10 um, and it's 90 degrees. So yeah it's uh it's one of those it's one of those days gosh 32 celsius Woo. <laughs> so i'm going to have this because it's easy to just put on take off it's kind of flowy uh, i'll probably have some pants but i'm also gonna bring shorts because if i'm under somewhere that's shaded then i'd just much rather have the shorts and um obviously bathing suit all of that um and hopefully during you know around the time of sunset i can go swim or something i don't know like there are some clouds in the sky but like there's just really not a whole lot um i don't know what i was thinking today agreeing to go do this but i'm gonna go do it i want to live my life so let's get into this so europeans spent an insane amount of money and time to achieve a fake tan to get glossy beautiful dusky dark exotic skin indians are doing the same to get flawless glowing white skin for centuries now indian women have been raised to believe that fairness is beauty and the invisible law around it is now making women bleach their skin and undergo various skin lightening fairness treatments so i'm interested to see what type of treatments okay so today there are many forms of skin whitening procedures um, some of the popular skin whitening procedures include chemical peeling an extreme skin whitening procedure it's not really extreme but okay um cryosurgery is another type of surgery where liquid nitrogen is used to destroy the melanin and allows the skin to regenerate a new epidermis with a lighter shade i did not know that see we're learning something skin lightening surgery involves the use of chemical substance and melanin is reduced in a way that the exact right light skin complexion is achieved. Uh, permanent skin bleaching involves bleaching your skin to make it lighter permanently. Uh, I think that's the bad one. Vampire facial is one of the many bizarre skin treatments involves re-injecting human blood to the patient's face. Many international stars have undergone this treatment to achieve plum youthful skin. Okay, that's not skin whitening. Skin whitening procedure not only lightens the skin, but it's also a very simple procedure to reduce fine lines and improve skin's texture. Exactly. Like half of this, like it does so like many other things, not just lightening. All right. So this is the first woman. Um, yeah. I mean, I guess we can kind of say yes. <laughs> um, that's yeah. She seems to have transformed herself. Skin looks much better and lighter than before. Oh, that's mean. I don't think she looks much better. I, she just looks a different color. I wouldn't say she looks much better. Um, I hate when people do that. Like, I'm not gonna say like one is better than the other. It's just about what you prefer. Um, but either way, like if you're a pretty attractive person, you're gonna be pretty and attractive no matter what color you are. Like that's just how it goes. Um, you're, you'll just be a different type of i don't know it's just a different look but yeah it would be the same as wearing your natural hair and then like putting on a wig it's just like you know either way is probably still pretty but yeah it's a completely different look um i don't really see it at all i mean this is just lightning that's a really bad photo um yeah this one maybe just because the undertone looks much different like looks really really different so I would say maybe uh, we saw Priyanka in the last one it's really hard when people are already pretty light um, and the funny thing is um, a lot of especially like this woman I'm not even gonna try to say any of these names but I actually like that color <laughs> Like, I really like that color. I mean, I think both colors look really nice on her. Um, but, I mean, maybe she did. It must be nice, though, if you're starting off at, like, that color or something, going to this shouldn't be so hard. Like, I feel like you should be able to get to that, like, within six months. Um, where other people, like, if you're starting off with, like, a more reddish undertone, um, we have so it takes us longer and this video has me really bleached out um it's just the lighting it's messed up um today i don't know why um no i don't i don't think so i just don't i think that's just her skin and how her skin is like i don't think she like went and got like some type of surgery for that i'm just being honest 
this woman maybe but at the same time it could just be the flash like some of these pictures are just i don't know but yeah so you can see here you have more of like uh i don't know it's like a that healthy glow and then you know here it's more of like the porcelain doll look which a doll is not living so this is more your blood is pumping you know it's a it's a person and then this you know it's just much much lighter which of course there's people who look this color you know just naturally but i mean for her i mean i feel like more like she did she said to undergone skin lightning treatment sometime before her pregnancy the super diva however claims it's a rumor and just wonderful pregnancy glow um <laughs> pregnancy glow you know what some people actually get a little darker during pregnancy just because of the hormones um well just like some people like will have like their nipples darken up during pregnancy um, or they'll have like uh, splotches of dark skin like patches the hormones do a lot of really weird things um to people skin um um i mean if she did i mean why why would she she looks beautiful in any skin. How do they know that she did? Need to fit in the norm, fair skin. She did, I don't know. I don't, I don't think whoever this is. And like half, okay, half of the lightning that was done. So if you are like this color, if you were this color, um, or if you're like this color and you would want to get to that, most of this can be done literally on like a tretinoin cream. Like seriously, just get you a prescription for like a tretinoin cream and basically that is what will happen. Of course, putting it all over your body, your body's gonna be very sensitive. Um, tretinoin is one of those creams where um, they don't have you use it like if you're gonna get pregnant or something like that. Um, I don't think any of the retinoids are supposed to be used if you're going to get pregnant. So obviously it's not going to be 100% safe, but also I don't think they recommend using glutathione when you're pregnant, not because people um, have had babies with side effects, it's just because there isn't enough information for what happens when you're you know, taking um, you know, large amounts of glutathione while pregnant. So it's just something like you wouldn't risk. But I'm just saying as far as accessibility and how easy it is to get it, going from this to that is just so, so easy. Just with like a tretinoid cream. Um, me being darker and having that happen to my face off of my acne products, not even knowing that it was happening, um, you know, that's why I'm like such a believer just cause, okay, I've already done this once. I didn't know it was happening. So I can't say how quickly it happened. Um, cause it was just like, it was gradual. And then all of a sudden now it's been years and I literally, my face never really like, gets color. Um, it's, it's really weird. I mean like it'll tan, but then like, like I said, like it goes away so quickly. Um, it's like my face is just always lighter than every other part of my body. So, um, you know, for these women, I just feel like there if you're like around this color i mean your journey should be so quick <laughs> um and you can get there like without using anything crazy um i know i've heard that there's different websites where you can get like tretinoin without a prescription um i tried to look into one of them but this was during like covid and so a lot of their stuff was like on back order so like i couldn't get it and so then i just gave up because like some people were in the reviews saying it took me like five months to get this and i was just like ugh, i just don't worry about it so you know for some people just going to the dermatologist and asking for you know retinoin um retinoin tretinoin um just might be the easiest thing to do but yeah it's like none of these i would say you would need to like do like a whole lot when you're just going from this color to this color um but you just have to be careful because like to me this would be a little too light i don't know i mean it's i don't know it just depends on what you like but i think it would be cool to like take like a lutein or an astaxanthin um and like have this color but with those in your system as well and it would kind of like tweak the color so it's not um i don't know it's not so flat or you know honestly it could just be her like her makeup because her makeup is pretty dark like i'm sure if she didn't have all that going on then it just wouldn't look as bold because you know when you have like a bold red lip 
everything else is gonna look so much more pale. So yeah, it probably doesn't look too crazy. But I mean, I really like this color. I mean, for myself, no. <laughs> but on just people in general, I think that's really, really, really pretty. But like her before picture, I mean, this is such an awful picture. So who's to say that she had anything done? You know, because the, like these people, you'd have to put this all over your body. So let me know, do you guys have like 100% confirmation that some of these actresses did do something? Um, or am I just being naive and they, you know, everyone's doing it. <laughs>